another friendly. <laughs> doing England vs Ivory Coast crypto file whatever you like to say preview it's gonna be um it's gonna be another game another game to see what the lads are like you know to see if we are able to win the World Cup this game won't determine if we can win the World Cup or not but this is still a friendly still one to win it and yeah you know it's an interesting game you know Ivory Coast did just lose to France 2-1 and France scored in the last minute but it friendlies Friendlies, no one actually tries in them. We didn't really try against Switzerland. Um, so, well, that's only why we beat them 2-1. But, you know, like, we still want to win. Still want to get that mentality up, that winning morale up. And to keep winning games as we get ever so closer to the World Cup. The World Cup draw is on Friday, which is really interesting, really close. And we want to see who we get. But, you know... Another another t uh, time to show um, for the day like the uh, players, the fresh players, the new players coming in, um, just get another glimpse of this uh, England squad and to like see the app, see what you need to do to be in it. You know, it's a very tough England is very tough um, tough to place to get in. You know, there's so many talented young players and they're not just old. They're not Harry Maguire age. They're not you know. John Henderson, like he's he's a sub and he's been brilliant for us. But you know, I really do think it's time for the young players to shine, to show that they are capable. And a few players who don't really play often, who don't really get into the England squad, to finally breathe and get their family happy with them, with getting their debut for this um, for England. It's going to be interesting. We had. About two or three debuts, um, debuts on Saturday with Gwaihi, Gaihi, or however you like to pronounce it, uh, Walker Peters and Mitchell. Um, so yeah, those they players got uh, a bled, blooded through, um, through England, you know, getting confident with playing with the lads and you know just getting used to the surroundings, but. You know, this game against Ivory Coast is absolutely, it's not massive, because it is just a friendly. It's not, it's not Portugal, it's not like massive, like they have to win it. We don't have to win this game, but we want to win it. Like, I kept saying in the Switzerland games, a big win. It's, it's sort of a big win. It's not really a big win, it is just a friendly. Like, we don't, like, winning at Switzerland is not going to do anything to us. So, we do need to realise that, I need to definitely realise that. It's not that big, you know. Yeah, we beat in Switzerland, who beat in France, but they had a few players not playing. We had a lot of players not playing. We could have beaten Switzerland by a lot, but you know, we didn't. Those our players didn't play. We weren't really trying, as to be expected. It's a friendly. It's just for the young players and the new players to practice, get used to it, because. The World Cup is only in a f not a few months, but like this year, later this year, only about eight, seven, eight months. So we need to just like because we don't have many games with the the, the England lads, don't have many games. So from now to the World Cup, because we have loads of club matches. So we're gonna have to get our players blooded. Um, just a free warm up, to be fair, it's another warm up, and this game doesn't really matter, but we would want to win it. I'll be looking at this game, of course, but I'll be also looking at the Portugal, North Macedonia, and the Poland, Sweden, because Sweden, that actually matters. Those games, whoever wins, goes to the World Cup. We really qualified for the World Cup, because we had a pretty comfortable group. We, we had Poland and Hungary, really, in our group. That's by it. No, no disrespect to the other teams. Albania gave us a good game. Van Dora and San Marino, no offence to them lot. They, they can be good, but, yeah, we just, we wet, we just took them out of the park but you know at the end of the day we uh we already qualified for the world cup so we don't need to worry this is just easy comfortable friendlies to be fair switzerland is a hard test we beat them now ivory coast still a hard test um and we still do want to win it's not like we're just not going to go there and just not try like we do want to win and this game actually could be quite interesting because the way ivory coast play is pretty good they got pepe and zaha they pretty play 
pretty attacking football. They're a pretty decent size. We need to watch out for them at the back, especially because of Ivory Coast. Like they're good. They're they're decent. They're an underrated side, you know. Like we're we're, we're really writing them off. They could win this game. They could eat. This could just run out of the park. When I don't think we're gonna play that like big defense. Um. I think we'll go for quite a youthful, I don't think, well, ones I've gone for, it's not youthful, but I think we could go for quite a youthful one, youthful um, centre-back. Center so, you know, if there's any way you can win, it is just exploiting our centre-backs, which I think they could do, and I think they can do it. Honestly, I think they can just exploit our centre-backs and just run them wild. Um which I'm not not looking forward to by any stretch of the imagination. But yeah, should we move on into my lineup prediction? I've gone for Nick Pope in goal. I don't think they'll play Jordan Pickford. Well, I don't think they will. Um, and then um, I'll be And then the centre back partnerships: Gaii, Stones, and Cody. I think Cody will play again. Stones had a little knock on the training last game so he didn't play Guayi, Guayi um, whatever, however you know it's pronounced it's a Crystal Palace player um, I think he had a good game on uh, Saturday so I think he'll play again right wing back Walker Peters with Reese James and Trent out I think Walker Peters will just comfortably walk into that team he you know he played quite well on Saturday you know he's, he is a good right back I don't think we have many others Centre mids are going for Gallagher. I think he had a really, really, really solid game. You know, he got the assist for Luke Shaw. I don't think he meant it, but he still got the assist. Um, and, you know, he played, he won the ball a lot in the midfield, in the middle of the park. I think he won that midfield battle against Xhaka and their centre back, in their centre mids. So I think he played Gallagher. The one player I think should have played against Switzerland, James Will Prowse. I've got him in my team against Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast is a bit of an easier match. And I think you, if you want to get these sort of players playing, I think you, this is the day and the game to play the likes of James Will Prowse. Um, you know, he's only played a few caps for England, but he, he's been brilliant. Set piece wise, he's one of the best in the business. So I think we should start playing these young players. No, he's not really young, but these players haven't really been blooded with the England soul. And yeah, moving on to my left wing back, Luke Shaw. You, you may play another left back. Honestly, we may play another left back, but left wing back even. But Luke Shaw, I think, will play. He had a cracking goal against Switzerland, a brilliant goal. Um, but I just think, yeah, he'll play Luke Shaw. I think, yeah, I don't know. We have a few other left wing backs, but I just think he'll play Luke Shaw. He could play Mitchell. Um, I think he could play Mitchell. Um, or either side could play Mitchell. But yeah, I'm going for Luke Shaw. The two cams are going for Foden and Mount. I've gone for a strong cam because we do need. To, you know, we don't need to win it, but we do want to win it. Oh, I, I'm. I'm no. I'm not going to say Foden and Mount. I'm, I'm saying Foden and Mount will play, but honestly, I don't think they. I don't know if they will or not. Um. I think we'll go for like a little, like a weak team, not a weak team, but like, a, like not our first team for sure. And for striker, I've gone for Harry Kane. That another one is very doubtful. I just want Harry Kane to play just to get his goals up to 50 goals for England. Um, now, which is meant he's got 49. If he scores in this game, it'll be on 50. Um, but yeah, that's my lineup. Yeah, it's been on. It's probably passed on the screen, but. I think I do think we can play that a three four two one. That's what we usually play. Play like a sort of like a five back. Um, no Declan Rice because I don't think we play like our first first team. It will definitely be one, one of the first picks in our first eleven if we actually tried and put like a proper starting eleven out. But I don't think we will play a proper starting eleven. Um, but yeah, should we move on to the score predictions? 3 1 England. Um, we played that squad definitely a 3 1 England. Played something a little bit weaker, a little bit less clinical. I think we could win 2 1, but I think we'll definitely win this game. Either way, 2 1, 3 1. We could even win this 4 0. We could lose. We could lose. We could, I could be just doubtfuling Ivory Coast a bit too much. Um, we're, is that Wembley? Um, Wembley Stadium. So I do think we will win this game. We'll get a comfortable win. Um, if we play that 11, then I definitely think we'll win. Nick Pope over Pickford is questionable, but we played Jordan Pickford way too much. 
Um, he's very reliable. No, he's very reliable, but I think Nick Pope should play for a friendly. It's not like a massive match. Like for a massive match, definitely uh, Pickford number one. But yeah, what, what it's gonna be interesting. Hopefully, we can get this win. Review will be my next video, and that'll be coming out on Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday just be a rest day because of all the matches. Um, Wednesday could be a double up, double upload because I might be reacting to the World Cup final, and then also the review of this game. But yeah, that wraps up the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit notification bell. Road to 50 subscribers. We're still seven away. Can we make that six or five? That'd be brilliant. But yeah, see you guys there. Bye.